President Trump is continuing to pressure General Motors to reopen a plant in Ohio through a series of tweets that span through the weekend and even uh, spilled into Monday as well. For more on this and other news from around the world, let's connect to our Noah Adam. So Adam, quite the Twitter tirade, even by President Trump's standards. That's right, Mark. Trump's tweets come ahead of his trip to the politically crucial Ohio this week. Analysts say a re election campaign in the Rust Belt could be tough as he has failed to deliver on his promise of bringing back jobs there. He made that promise two years ago at a rally in a town near the shuttered Lordstown plant. GM closed plants in several locations last year as part of a major restructuring plan, which includes a shift to electronic uh, vehicles. It also said it would cut 8,000 jobs, representing a 15% reduction in its workforce. About 1,500 jobs were lost in Lordstown. Now, this angered Trump, who said GM should close a factory in China or Mexico in order to reopen the Ohio plant. He also expressed discontent over the pace of talks between GM and the United Automobile Workers Union, which are scheduled to start later this year. Trump said those negotiations should happen now, so the plant could either be opened or sold quickly. He had even blamed the union leader for not doing enough to save the Lordstown factory. GM had responded to some of Trump's tweets, saying the, quote, ultimate future of the unallocated plants will be resolved between GM and the UAW. The automaker also said it is working to offer affected workers uh, jobs in other plants, adding it has already uh, relocated a 1,000 employees.